2 p.m. Sunday, November 24th, 2019. We're having a bit of rainfall right now. So, I'm here looking at the bees, trying to see what's going on. And what I notice here is there is a, a bee right here on the landing board and it's dying. And this bee have pollen attached to its legs. Honeybees work until they're dead, you know. They're like a constant working machine. And this bee, willing as she is, was only able to make it at the end of her life with a payload intact on her back legs. But she will be expiring soon. And there you have one of those bugs trying to get in there and look like it's sharpening its tentacles to get any scrap of food. Oh boy, what's going on there now? I hope it's not me. See that kind of action? Well, I see that the one one bee is trying to to sting sting the camera here. It seems as though it's the camera that caused that. Anyhow, I guess I'll have to move away. They coming down, man. Sometimes they don't like to be photographed here. You see how they, they're trying to ward off that little bug there. Anyhow, let's take a look at the other colonies on the, on the other side there. Give them a little better time to calm down themselves, whatever the case may be. Usually I like to come out here when it's when it's raining. I like to see how the bees coming in with their pollen or whatever activities they have going on. That gives me a a good sense of how strong they are in numbers and how, how good they are in bringing in pollen or whatever they might have. Seeing this one here coming in with a lot of stuff. And what I also noticing is that other colony there. They have some some debris at the front. Let me take a better look at that. What is that? That is wax. They probably have some sort of frame inside here that they don't like, so they're, they're biting it up and spitting it out. Okay, let's, let's do a little observation here on the inside. Remember I have a piece of glass on the top here. Oh boy, check them out. They're seeing the light here and they want to know what's going on. Looking alright man. 
So that exposure to the light there does trigger them off a little bit. Let's look at the, the swarm that I caught. Let's see what they're doing. The swarm is quiet and nice and calm. Doing this stuff. Okay, so this is the the bee that have a little bit of pollen on its leg here. Let me see. There you go. Sorry about that. But this bee. expired look like it have a little life in it yet but that's how it does go boy can't help that now see the pollen on the legs there still so usually what I do when I come to the bee yard I look on the ground to see if there's any bee that is dying and I will take up that bee and put it on some part of my body so that it will sting me and the reason for that is so that I'll be very much immune to be bee venom it will stimulate the body the immune system and everything but right now I'm not seeing any any dead bees or dying bees that will be able to give me that sting or two or three. Sometimes I do like ten, ten stings. Yeah, I'm not seeing any bee. Except for this one in my hand right here that are with the pollen on this leg. So before it totally expire, mm. I can put him on somewhere. And use that venom wisely so here goes we're going to put on that bee sting right here there it is so at least the bee would have been successful in doing something other than just dying like that yes folks take your bee sting like a man Thank you very much, B. She worked well. Okay, yeah, man. So just checking. Oh, the rain stopped now. The sunshine come back out very nice. So that is what goes on on a daily basis here at the Good Honey Bee Yard. Always on the lookout for anything. And trying to see how best I could get those bees in a certain strength, a certain um, order, to make my job easier when it's time to come to extract. I have a couple of manipulations to do here, you know. But I need to do that in this coming week in preparation for extraction. So that's another thing to look out for at the Good Honey Bee Yard. You know, you could relax your gaze a little bit on the screen that you're looking at right now. And you'll see a thumb. When you click on it, it'll turn blue. I appreciate that very much. Subscribe to it. Yeah, man. And ring that bell icon. Sunshine looking nice, boy. This is the time of the day when the nectar has flow best in the soap vine, you know. And 
notice a lot of movements over on this side. So that is what must be going on. They're bringing in that no that soap vine nectar. You see, look, I've seen some activity here. This activity seems to be. I wonder. I wonder if they're getting up for orientation flight. It's around this time they'll start, you know, between now and 5. 5.30 between 2 o'clock and 5.30 See how they looking active there? So, this evening we just be watching Alright Thanks for watching with me TTFN Bye for now.